Good day, golfers. Welcome back. It's been two and a half years that I've played this lovely course at the National Service Resort and Country Club. We are at the Changi location. It's a lovely morning and we're starting off the 10th hole today. Uh, we're just teeing off at around 7.30 in the morning. The weather's pretty cool, but I think it's going to get really hot later in the afternoon. So on the second shot of the 10th hole, I've got a 9 iron. Ball was in the rough, so I kind of expected the ball to land on and release quite a little bit. And just the first feel of the green, uh, it's slow. You can see that the green is in good condition, just that it feels a bit thick. Hole 11 is a par 4. Uh, it's dog leg left and there's fairway bunker on the left. I was told to play right of that but you know I hit a draw and somehow the bunker will always be in my way. So the pin is right at the back. I've got a 7 iron. Trying to squeeze this just a little bit uh, instead of a 6 iron as I do not want my ball to be right at the back. And from here I have a long part for birdie. You can hear that I've hit it quite hard. So generally, I take a longer backswing on my putter just to get the full swing. Hole 12 is a par 3. It's 164 meters to the pin and I've got my 6 iron. Hole 13, par 4, dog leg left. Uh, we are taking off the front tees, the white ones. It's a mixed tees. I had to go left as uh, I think I could carry the trees. And the ball bounced all the way up to this spot. I got a lob wedge in my hand and I'm just playing for a very high shot and let the ball land soft next to the pin. And could this be my first birdie? This is what we call daylight robbery. Hole 14 is a par 5. We've got the sun in our face and there's water on the right, there's bunker on the left. You just got to avoid both of them if you can. And from here, I've got 225 to the pin. I won't be able to reach it with a 3 wood, but I can get close enough. Unfortunately, I put this to the left, but there was a huge bailout area here. And I was going for about 30 meters just over the bunker and have another birdie look. The par 3 at hole 15 is a long one. It's 182 meters with a front pin. Wow. So I went with the 4 iron. Didn't hit it really well. The ball landed shy of this bunker. And I left myself with a testy 8 footer. This par 4 is a short one. Uh, I got my driver out. The pin was on the right, so my plan was to go towards the left. Unfortunately, I found the fairway bunker, which I wasn't really aware of. So from here, I went with a sand wedge, and the feel to hit this 60 meter, 50 meter ish distance is to feel that you are having a really wide swing, so that you can enable the bounce even if you hit just slightly behind the ball. Hit this a bit too hard and the ball went to the back of the green and a super long birdie part. That almost went in.
This par 4 uh, dog legs slightly towards the right. I went with a driver. I think there's a slope which I could reach. And from there, the ball bounced towards the right. And the ball landed in some not really good lie. The pin is tucked right at the back. And this is one pin where you do not want the ball to go over. So instead of a 9, I went with a pitching wedge. And this is a hole where it's better to be 20 feet short than to be 10 feet past. There is quite a lot of break here which I failed to see, but a two part here for par is always good. Now the 18th hole is a par 5 at 505 meters. Bomb this drive. And I was left with 220 meters to the pin and 210 to carry the water. I had to hit this good. Uh, my carry for my 3 wood is about 215, so if I hit it well, I can carry the water easily. And from here, it's an up and down for birdie, maybe. So let's go back to the front nine of this course. Hole number one is a par four. I used a three wood as there is water in front and a driver would send the ball into the wet zone. I was left with nine iron, 130 meters with the pin tucked right at the back. The ball was slightly above my feet and I failed to choke down. So I hit it slightly behind and the ball poked towards the left. And I was left with this really tricky up and down birdie putt. Hole 2 is a par 5, right OB left water, so the right place to send it would be towards the trees over there. And from here I had about 205 meters with a 3 iron. Struck this so bad, but I got lucky, the ball just went short of the bunkers. was left with 37 meters to the pin hoist the ball up into it to the air and let it land softly and another part came up short the par 5 at hole 3 I can't use the driver again as there's water in front so went with a 3 wood now I'm left with 184 meters to the pin I was trying to go 120% at this and not the right way to hit it. Never go hard. 80%. 80%. 80%. Yep. I should watch my own video. <laughs> so I've got 30 meters to the pin. I wanted the ball to pass the pin, so I'm just going to put it on the green with a really high lob shot. I must say that I like this course very much. I think the design has really interesting holes where you have dot leg gloves and right, and there are really beautiful fountains and streams around the course. Okay, let's bend it like Beckham. <laughs> one, one, two. The pin is behind the tree on the left, and I had to hit this low, so I went with a 9 iron and maneuver it around the tree. Yeah. Hole 5 is a par 4 at 360 meters. I went with a low runner as I'm not sure where I should place the ball. And the ball ran up all the way to this spot and I was left with a sand wedge. And again I had to have a bigger stroke and hit this a bit harder to get the ball up towards the hole and walked away with two parts. Par! Hole 6, par 3, 160 meters with the wind at the back. Struck this slightly behind the ball. 
and the ball ended up into the bunker. I hit this bunker shot really well actually. Unfortunately, it hit the strip in between the green and the apron and the ball only managed to land up to there. I missed my power part and made a bogey. Hole 7, uh, the wind was against me. I hit a left to right shot, a mini cut I would say, so that I could place the ball in between the two bunkers. And here I was left with a flick of a wedge and left with a nice 10 feet birdie look. Solid, man. Not the best read, but I will take the par. The view from that hole and also the tee box of hole number 8, uh, you'll get to see the ocean. This hole is sort of a drivable as the tee was moved up and my ball crept up towards the bunker, the green side one. And from here, a fantastic bunker shot and another birdie putt. We're ending on with another 6 iron on the par 3 at 165 meters with the pin at the back. Pulled the 6 iron, I think that's my miss normally. Went with a lob wedge. On hindsight, I think I should have gone with a sand wedge. So the ball could actually roll a bit more and closer towards the hole. Thank you for watching and I really enjoyed the round at NSRCC. I'll see you guys next week and bye-bye.